Tune in to www.oghuskyradio.com, broadcasting live from the east side of Los Angeles worldwide. Every Thursday night, uh, interviews. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves uh, individually and what crews you guys represent. Clover, NTS, UNT. Baby, NTS, TDK, Infamous Vandals crew. Diamond, QCC. Um, straight to it. <laughs> Got three females in here <laughs> talking about the graph game. The obvious question, is it harder for a female to be in the graph game? Um, I would have to say that now it's easier to incorporate the women into the graph scene. Um, I'm kind of an older one, the old school one. So back in the days, um, we weren't allowed to hang around with the guys. They wouldn't want to take us just because of the simple fact that we were girls. So now as, as I see it, um, we had a lot of women, a lot of girls paved the way for us. And likewise, now we're paving the way out for them. Who, who are the ones that paved the way? We got to give them shine. I, I would have to say Blossom. <laughs> One of Blossom, Omega, Two Tone, old schools, the old schools. Um, how long, let's start with you though. How long have you been writing for? Uh, writing as a vandal? Yeah. <laughs> uh, summer 1989. Summer nineteen eighty. Yeah, don't 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 make don't do the math. No, no, no. I'm, <laughs> don't do I'm, the I'm, math. I'm, I'm old. I'm old. I'm bad at, I'm bad at, his, at his, what, what got you in it into it? Uh, the people I used to hang around with, which is mostly, wait, because I uh, wait, most, I better interrupt though, because even eighty nine is still like the beginning of LA. The beginning, the RTD. Yeah, because yeah. that ninety eighty nine was Chaka, yeah. Triax, yes. that that era. So yeah. you're. Damn. Okay, I, go. I, I I watched them. I was uh, that's actually kind of how I got the name Baby. I was the youngest. I was the youngest of all the ones, even in the ones in my crew. Uh, just knowing a lot of people and being a tomboy and hanging with all the boys. But when it got down to that, they were um, kind of scared to take girls with them. But but so then, um, what area of, in Los Angeles did you grow? South up? Central area. The so South who Central. are in '89? Who was up at like who are some uh, people that you can recall? The, well, obviously my crew, the NTS crew, Flex, yeah. Prex, Above. Most of us we went to high school together, junior high together, elementary together. Uh, K for P's. Uh, there's a couple of crews. Most of them was those. Um, what made you think that you could do it, or like what made you get into it? Uh, I think it was just being bad <laughs> that inner side inner inner bad of me was just uh craving to be bad and and then just joining the crew and then you know what you see you learn and for the for the other two uh what got you into it like what what enticed you or what made you want to um, well my shit was on a different level how so let's break it down like um well i've been writing since i was like a little girl but i never really was into graffiti I would say I was around it. Like, I had my cousin who would always be doing tags, always drawing fucking all that stuff on, a, like, a little fucking notebook around me, getting in trouble, my having my uncle in the same house fucking yelling at him about tagging and getting kicked out of that. But I was never really into it until, I would have to say, until my dad passed away. And then, because drawing was always an outlet for me. And then once he passed away, it was like, fuck, I need something more, you know? Something to really like reliefs my stress instead of yeah. just staying home fucking crying about it or whatever um but yeah and then once he passed away um i decided to go back to school like after two months everyone around me was fucking black books tagging i was like all right all these guys could do it like i could do it too so then that's when i started hopping on the books and i mean i got called a toy so many times but i didn't care i was like fuck this shit like i'm gonna get better and yeah that's I haven't stopped since, so... Let them know who you are again. I'm Diamond, QCC. And how about for, you, for Clover, what got you into it? Uh, my surroundings, for sure. All my homeboys in middle school. Um, we were pretty much just, like, writing on desks in our class. Um, but what, then, So then what makes you, like, so you're growing up around it, what makes you think, like, I want to do this? or like? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just, like, second nature. Um, yeah. I mean, writing, I love writing, period. Uh, will you ever stop doing it? Do you guys ever see, like, nah, this is kind of... Bad habits never die. Um, Bad habits never die. Bad habits never die. <laughs> when I leave my body. Okay, now we get that tatted. God, <laughs> anyway, uh, I, always, I always carry a streak or a scribe or any cans, anything in my car. 
So everywhere I go, it's like, oh, it's just like automatically, it's like autopilot. You already run, you're like, oh, catch yourself there. You tell yourself you're gonna stop, but yeah. then you catch yourself putting a can in your bag. Yeah, last one, last one. <laughs> what, what do you prefer to hit? Hot spots. Yeah. How about uh, I'm old. I'm an old. I'm an old school. <laughs> um, depends who I'm with. <laughs> I think anything that uh, that like you can see daily. Yeah. Oh, is it more fun hitting it up or going back to see it? Mm. Hitting it up. Yeah, yeah. it's just the adrenaline. Do, do you guess. guys? Do you ever go back to spots to check? Check them. If I'm in the area and I like, oh, yeah. let's go fucking back and get the day flick. Yeah, if they're good spots. Yeah. 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 Huh. <laughs> 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 What's one of the craziest story you, you could tell us that you've mm. had while doing this? Fuck. I had one where we had, um, we were in the Watts area because after South Central, I moved to Watts and, um. Hold the bike up a little more? Um, it was Perfect. in the Watts area. We went, I went back, uh, with one of my friends to hit up some spots and, um, uh, there was a lot of the homeless by the tracks and, uh. They they went crazy. They chased us. <laughs> this is a homeless, not even the cops. <laughs> so I guess they're protecting their territory too. Damn. That's what, how about for you guys, Annie? Um, I was in the fashion district and I was catching a tarp on the main street, and I was painting with my man. He was catching the spot first. Well, we both caught our fills first, and then I sat down because there was a bunch of cars passing, and he was still going. I didn't know what the fuck, I'm not from the area, so I don't know what the fuck fashion district police look like, their fucking car. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the curb with my camera because I do photography and this motherfucker pulls up and I get up and I'm like, what the fuck, like, this motherfucker's about to run me over. So then whatever, I get up and then they, these fools like hop out the car, like four fools deep in that car. And then after they like stop and I look at my man, I was like, fuck that. I was like, run, you run, like you run. They're not going to do shit to me, like I'm a female. So whatever, and they didn't do shit to me. Like I, ran, I walked around the car the opposite way, and my man, he fucking took off. And then I thought I didn't know where he went. I, he didn't have a phone. I, I was like, fuck, that's it. Like he's gone. Like that's it. And the next thing you know, he fucking ends up in a flower shop calling me like, oh, I'm at the flower shop. They left uh, in LA. Like it, it's weird. Yeah, like it was, it was weird because it was late too. I'm like, okay, like what the fuck? They're open. All right, whatever. And then yes, yeah, so then he got away. How about for you? I was out with one of my homegirls. She doesn't write, but um, she was just going with me. And this tweaker comes out of a car. I didn't know she was a tweaker Fucking at first. Tweakers. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> um, so she comes out and she's like, hey, what are you doing writing on my wall? And I'm just like looking at her like, bitch, this is my neighborhood. Like, just ignored it and I kept painting. And, um, and so then she, I guess she starts getting madder. Um, she says, I, I got four other guys in the car. Like, which one of you wants to get pistol with first? Oh, shit. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was I was like, what the fuck? Um, she had, so I was painting and my homegirl was there in back. I guess she was scared. Um, but the the lady was like looking through my shit. And I was like, what the fuck? Give me my shit back. And she was like, no, nah, like uh, I have a gun or whatever. She had her arm like behind her back. So I pulled out my blade and I'm like, give me my shit back. And the guy that was with her in the car came out and he was like, hey, what are you doing to these girls? Leave them alone. Like he got all like, I guess, tripped out, scared. And she had a box cutter. And so she gave me back my shit. And then the guy was, well, she just came out, I was like all wrong and shit, but the guy just ended up um, asking us if he wanted to hit his shit. It, going through like all that, is it worth it? Like, is it worth all the time and hassle? Is Hell no. <laughs> is it art or is it? It's never gonna be easy. Is it art or is it vandalism? It's both. It's, it could be both if you incorporate. How about for you though? Hold the mic up. I think it's both if you incorporate it the right way. You just get out the box you can do so much with the graffiti not just vandalism but art real art and sell but, your stuff but, there's people selling their shit but 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 with it because because <laughs> it's because it's art is is it a hobby or a lifestyle for you guys it's a lifestyle i've incorporated into my life graffiti is part of my life yeah How about yeah for you? pretty much pastime lifestyle yeah for you yeah definitely a lifestyle um do you ever plan on going legit like because i know you have history with art you, you have history with art. Is it anything you guys try to plan, uh, plan on going legit, selling work, artwork, stuff uh, like that? Is I do that... a lot of stuff that's not graffiti. I do a lot of canvas. Mm -hmm. You said that earlier. That yeah. kind of tripped me out. Yeah, right? and, How's and that? Actually, I need you to break that down. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, I, 
it's not necessarily throw ups or, or pieces on canvases. It can be, uh, you know, landscapes, just just not normal. Old. I guess normal. Art. <laughs> normal. <laughs> art. Not, 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 yeah, art's yeah, never yeah. normal, but the regular art yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to do uh, um, as a young younger. I used to do a lot of uh, murals with um, Zender when we used to have the creative uh, arts, creative the clean art and Greek art, the creative art solution. So he was uh, actually my mentor. Actually, uh, He's uh, my mentor. Uh, he was my mentor. Instagram Zender's world. Yes. Because he's, st- he's I think he's out in Ohio right now. He's he's doing Damn, a lot of things. Yeah, he has a studio geez. in San Pedro. Yeah, I learned from him. He actually kind of saved my life with graffiti. So, That's dope. being from where I am, yeah, and and I think um, some. I just want to add that sometimes uh, we have as women we have our pros and cons. I guess one of those pros is because you're a you're a girl. Nobody thinks that. Because I'll be out in like just dress shoes and probably a skirt or a dress or whatever, and nobody's gonna know that I'm gonna go hit up a street or or hit up, you know, slap something. Uh, so so that's the only that's the only pro thing to this. So you're saying it's being a woman. <laughs> no. Um, uh-uh. Depends what you're doing. I I've I've seen it where. I mean, I wear glasses, so they probably think I'm a dork or a geek. So mm-hmm. they're not gonna come up to me, and, or they're not gonna think that I'm gonna. I have a can or three cans in my backpack, or a mean streak or stickers. So I think that's. But that's on that note, have you ever had anyone fucking pull over? Guys, on some weird shit. Me, though, yeah. On some weird yeah, shit. The guys have. <laughs> are you okay? Do like, you need you some have, help? You have ex- are you, you lost? Have the spectators, yes. You have the spectators and the heroes. <laughs> you have the heroes, spectators, yes. and the fools trying to holler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Trying to pick up on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. So I'm like, so. Stop break. Que viva la mañana. That's dope. Uh, Anna, thank you guys for coming. Let them know who we have up in the spot. Let them know one more time. Diamond, QCC, Baby One, NTS, TDK, Infamous Vandals, Clover, NTS, UNT. Anna, thank you. Any shout outs before we cut out? Yes. Hush, uh, <laughs> Lena, LB, um, my man poets, WRS, BK. And that's it. Any other shout outs? Uh, Blossom, my baby Jax. Uh, just to our crews, the NTS, TDK, Infamous Vandals, uh, District 9, and the KCCs who are always welcoming us. Yeah. <laughs> or at least me, I'm not even being, not even being, not even being from the crew, but they're always, always, always um, are very welcoming and their hospitality is, is yeah, really Yeah, actually, cool. there's one who uh, brought you in today. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and back in the days, we were biggest enemies. We were the worst oh, enemies. We were, I mean... We had people jump them, they jumped our people, but now it's not about that. Now it's about networking, empowering, empowering the youth, empowering the women. Well, that's that's actually and what it, I'm and about. And anyone listening for, for that history aspect, let them know that, that yeah, that it did go through that. Mm-hmm. And we're not we're not sugarcoating or saying that nope. it didn't happen. Nope. But what we are saying is that we're past that and we're all we're trying to work that. together it, with outlets like this, right. with crews like NTS, right. KCC, right. and everyone else that mess, uh, MTAs, everybody else that comes through yeah, and like blesses us. With yeah. interviews. If you want to, if we want, I, I personally, I want graffiti to live. I, I'm going to be gone soon. I have to know that, I, that I'm, I'm leaving a legacy to somebody else. And we're not always going to be young, you know? So we want to keep it alive. You show it to your youth. You empower them, you know? Open Hell their yeah. minds. Open, no more boxes. No more, no more, oh, what do you call those? Gated doors. No more, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no more gated doors. <laughs> we live in the hood. Put your gated doors. <laughs> put up cameras. Todo. No, no more locked doors. But no keep mommy. But doors. keep mommy. No more locked doors. Yeah. Nah, for real. Thank you guys. Keep yeah, up the welcome. good work. You're welcome. OG Husky Radio. Stay posted. More interviews to come.